Right, it's time for one of my favourite videos, and these are when I run through what I've been wearing for the month. And so, November's outfits are here. And I'm going to start off with, at the beginning of the month, I can't remember where I was going, but I wore jeans and a jumper, my, my jumper with the, with the lightning bolts on it. And I have found similar for you, not exactly the same, similar. And I've got those similar examples in my shop, which I'll link down below for you. And keep looking at my shop because I do update things in there and keep it as up to date as, I, as, I, as possible. Anyway, light wash jeans, because I said I was going to wear light wash jeans in December and combining it with black. My Moto boots and my leather, oh, pleather uh, jacket over the top. Yeah, I, I, I like this. I liked the, uh, the black with the light wash jeans. I thought that was a really good effect. I really, really enjoyed wearing this outfit. Definitely, this is, this is one I'll do again. Then we went to a late Halloween party and I, I didn't dress up in a costume. My husband did, I didn't. Um, I'm having coffee while I'm doing this as well, so a little sip of coffee. Do join me. Um, yes, yeah, so I wore a black um, top, short sleeve blouse, with, again, my moto jacket, it looks like I've got here. Let me just click, yes, yes, so my moto jacket. And there's a skirt that I showed you when I was putting the capsule together, black with some gold on it, and sort of the emblems a bit like the moon and the sun and so on, and I thought they were a bit, Halloween-y as well as it could be Christmas, it could be any sort of um, uh, going out event in an evening. And um, yeah, I took a little little evening bag with me as well. So that was good. What boots did I wear? Oh, I wore my Moto boots. Yes, because this is how um, maxi skirts and midi skirts are being worn at the moment is, is with, with heavy boots. So I wore my Moto boots with that. I thought that was quite a mod modern look for a midi skirt. But here I am. Interrupting in my exercise gear. Do not worry, I am not gonna talk about exercise and get you all on the floor doing your Pilates. No, what I am gonna do is say that today's a bit of a reset day for me. And so I've got an exercise class later on today, so I just thought I'd just get into my gear ready for it. And just, it's comfortable, isn't it? You know, leggings and a t-shirt and a sort of hoodie type sweatshirt thing. Um, zip up, whatever this is. Anyway, as it's a bit of a reset day, I have been exploring more courses on Skillshare and I wanted to just update you on a new sort of course I've been looking at on self-care because I think during December we're caring so much and thinking about other people so much that it may be important for us to actually take some time out and just care for ourselves and first thing in the morning is an ideal time to do that so there's a course by Nisha B called the ultimate morning routine for productivity and self-care there are printables, if you want to use printables, so you can actually make notes as you're going through it and setting your own targets for the day, setting yourself self-care notations and annotations. So Anisha's course goes into the combination of mindfulness and self-care with productivity. And I think that's fantastic because we often see those two separated out, whereas self-care is normally seen as something entirely different. Whereas this course combines the two, which is fantastic. Really, that's what we want when we're actually wanting to be productive. And one of the things that um, I learned is actually just take time first thing in the morning just to look out the window. Skillshare, as you know, I have done interior design courses on there. And look at my, I don't know if you can see, I've got an arrangement of three plants here because on there I learned that you had to arrange things in threes. That's, that's three plants in the kitchen together. I've done plant care, interior, interior plants, indoor plant care. I have done identifying your own fashion style and capsule wardrobing and so on. So there's a whole variety of courses and there's more being added all the time. There's learned Spanish that I came across. So the first thousand people who click my link down below can have a month's free trial on Skillshare and explore all the courses that they like. And the beauty of Skillshare is that there's no adverts, so you've got no interruption, and there's more courses coming on all the time. It is so user-friendly being online. So I love it, I love Skillshare. Because the rest of it looks quite feminine, apart from the jacket. Top and tailing with the jacket and the boots. Sorry, the dog is pattering around here, but that's okay, it's homely, isn't it? Then, all oh right, okay, you're gonna sit down there. That's just, that's good. Yeah, just, you just stay there. Then um, there's another day I wore some slightly darker jeans, I think these are, and a autumnal blouse. For December, I'm gonna put my autumnal blouses away, but I wanted to use them in November. And so this was a sort of a browny, leafy pattern, floral pattern, browny, beigey blouse with the jeans. And it was a little bit chilly, so I added my sweater vest over the top. 
Now I thought it was a really good look with then a, a trench coat over the top of that as well. So that is a way of wearing, say, your floral blouse for warmth, put a sweater vest over the top. And then if it's raining, trench coat, but you've got the warmth from the sweater vest. So the trench coat, in fact, that's lightweight. A classic vibe coat in a sort of chilly autumn day, not a full on cold day. And keeping warm with a sweater vest, which is modern as well underneath it. Then another day, very simply jeans, Breton, and your guys are loving the Bretons and I have got some in my shop and I've mentioned it in my video, which I'll link here, where I talk about your your what you're loving and you're buying and Bretons came up an awful lot. You are loving your horizontal stripes. So, so am I. Um, and so this again, is it's my black moto and jeans and the Breton. Then I think we're coming up with um, the same boots again. Yes, the same boots again, come up again. And this is the day I had family over for one, one of my daughters had a birthday. So we were in the house, but I put boots on, maybe just to show you what I'd wear with them. I'm not really sure why I'm wearing boots in the house, but anyway, I put boots on and I'm wearing a very oversized sweater. This is from Cos and I'm seeing this all over Instagram and all over YouTube. This, this seems to be the influencer's jumper. And on me, it's very, it's an oversized jumper anyway. On me, it's very oversized. This is gonna look really good with le leggings really good with leggings and I actually don't think it's too bad on me it could be belted if I wanted to I could belt it um, but I quite like that chunky feel in order to look balanced I turned up my jeans so as I didn't have that half and half look because with an oversized sweater that's long you could easily have half and half which actually just is not a, not a good look so to make the jeans more proportional I um, cuffed them so that they're shorter than the length of the jumper but then another day I just wore my jeans and a grey sweater tucked in v-neck sweater necklace that was it really around the house carrying on the same theme light wash jeans and a modern cardigan this is how how cardigans are these days they're sort of hip length with buttons and v-neck and they're chunky and slightly got slightly balloon sleeves and this is one of those um, love it and I wore a camisole underneath no jewellery by the looks of it, just with my indigo jeans that is obviously around the house day. There's something for everybody in this video because the next outfit is a midi or mid axi dress that I bought a long time ago from Marks and Spencers and I wore this out to, for um, a meal. And now if we're going out for a meal with friends, it's generally we'll dress up, but it's casual, like we'll dress up jeans, we'll dress up some leather trousers or um, something like that. But this was a set meal with a club and so um, we were going to an Indian restaurant and I didn't know anybody. I was going on my own, didn't know anyone. And I knew that if you're going to go out to something like that, that's an organised event, actually people don't go in jeans and, you know, with a blouse. I wanted to wear a dress. And so I wore this dress and I put on my Vivaya boots. And the reason I put on my Vivaya boots is because I know that they are comfortable. They expand with my foot in a heated environment and they're comfortable for walking and comfortable for driving in. The heel's small, I could drive in them. I could then walk from the car to the restaurant. If I'm standing around drinking, talking to people, they're gonna be perfectly comfortable. And then sitting in the restaurant, if it overheats, I knew they'll be comfortable as well. So they were a deliberate choice and I thought they looked really good with, with the dress. And I put my trusty moto jacket over the top. Now this jacket, obviously in, in earlier in the year videos, you didn't see this jacket in, in the summer, but it's coming out and being used an awful lot in, um, in the winter so far and the autumn. Then there is a day in just a jumper and black jeans at home. And these are skinny jeans um, and I'm wearing them. Oh, I would wear them with a chunky boot. Now, in the house, on my own, skinny jeans, didn't mind. If I was gonna wear them out, it would be chunky boot to balance them, not the way we used to wear skinny jeans. I think that's that's how to be seen out in a skinny jeans, got to be with a chunky boot. So I'm showing how I'd wear them with, with say, my reflow boots, for instance. I bought these reflow boots last year. They're very, very comfortable, incredibly comfortable. They've got a great tread for weather. And I'm not worried about keeping them smart because they are a weather boot, but they look fashionable. So they are out again this year. I'll link them down below for you black jeans and a Breton and a black cardigan. And I was trying out a tan bag with this outfit to show tan and, and black. This bag is by Minoy 
and they are offering you a code so i'll link that down below and i love the bags they are you can get small and large all sorts of styles or some vintage bags i'm going to be showing you more of their bags coming along but i i absolutely adore this bag that i've got from them um which was gifted love it i wore it an awful lot last year and and i'm wearing it again this year that's a night i went out again i went out but i went out to a dinner a gala dinner and I wore a dress I bought a long, long time ago. Um, I did talk about this in my video on Black Friday. And this is a dress, and I've got a red version of this same dress. And I wear them every year where, where I'm going to a gala dinner. And the red, to alternate between the red and the black, generally. I've had it 10 years or so. Um, I wore it with an evening bag, and I used... What did I use? Um, oh, the shoes I used were ones that I've had for a long, long time, about almost as long as I've had the dress, actually. Um, some very pointed, patent shoes that I get out at the same time. So they, they again, have been worn probably 20 times over 10 years. Um, anyway, that's my stock, stock outfit for a, a sort of a black tie event. And I found on the, um, in the Black Friday video, I found a similar style cocktail dress Sorry, there was a bit of a move, move there, and that's because the dog moved the camera. Um, anyway, yes, so I found, in the, when I did the Black Friday video, a similar dress for my UK followers, and I'll try to find something from the, for the States as well, that gives that same effect of sort of an evening dress that you could wear for a cocktail party or for a black tie event. But once you've got one, you know, it just comes out all the time. It's, I think it's great. And I think a dress like this, because it's covering my arms as well, it's giving me an elegant neck with a boat shape there. And my one has actually a scoop back at the back as well. So this is really, I think it's totally um, right for me at my age to wear a dress like this to a black tie event. Um, then we're moving on. <laughs> Yes, another one. Yes, this is a really interesting outfit video this time because there's so many different things I did. I went to, to actually talk at a, at a um, seminar and so I got, up, got dressed in sort of like almost my old work clothes. So these are black trousers. I'm using a lily silk classic shirt. Um, they called it the placket shirt, I think. Then, which I'll link down below. I've got codes for you. Um, and the black jacket. This is a mango jacket that um, I bought years ago but I used to wear it for work and also for evenings and things like that so I thought that looked really good I'm using a Reese belt because I like I like Reese belts and they're a reasonable price especially if you buy them in the sale but I like Reese belts that if I'm going to dress up an outfit it's generally a Reese belt and I put on Vivaya shoes the square toe ones because I wanted to look quite classic and that that did that worked it was quite nice dressing up in that. Then there's this little photo of me in my on the way on the way home afterwards, and I've got Clark's boots on because I'm walking home or walking to the station. And this is going across London Bridge. You can see Tower Bridge behind me. Walking across to go to um, London Bridge Station, and then I was going to be perhaps walking the other end as well. So I want comfortable shoes, and then change into the into the um, Vivaya shoes once I got there. So yeah, this is at the end of the evening. I thought you'd want to see this. <laughs> you know, I don't mind wearing a raincoat in London for a business event. That's absolutely fine. This is just my um, sea salt raincoat. Denim jacket, brown beige jumper and wide leg black jeans with some black trainers with white, white edging around them. And another one is, oh yeah, black jeans again. Now skinny. Now another way, another reason we should keep our skinny jeans is if we want to wear knee high boots. Not, not over the knee, they're gone, they're well gone, well gone. But knee boots or leg boots, you know, because they tuck in. Or if we need our Wellingtons, you know, if we want to go out in our wellies. But here I'm using my black skinnies and brown or tan um, long boots that I've had a long, long time. And a camel, camel jumper with my waistcoat I've just recently bought from Jules, which I hope is still available so you could buy it, and a black bag. And I love that sort of combination of tan and black. Yeah, that's it. That is it. That is what I wore in November using my capsule wardrobe. 